What's happening guys? Today we're gonna to be going over a very overused but very popular transition in the real estate game. It is the shake transition. I know I have shown this tutorial on After Effects and Adobe Premiere, but this one is for DaVinci Resolve. Hey guys, we're gonna get straight into it. Now for the purpose of this tutorial and to speed it up, I have pre-color graded my clips and applied the speed ramps. If that's a tutorial you wanna see, leave a comment. If I get enough interest, I'll make those in the coming weeks. So we have two examples. The first example is the G-Wagon in the garage. And the second example is the agent walking inside the house. Now both these effects are done the same. The only difference is the G-Wagon in the garage has the effect applied to both clips, whereas the agent walking inside the house only has the effect applied to the second clip. That's what gives it that instant boom or sudden stop feeling as he walks in. Now I've got both completed uh, examples on a timeline. I'm just gonna to switch to another timeline that doesn't have the effect applied. So starting with the G-Wagons and the garage, Now the first thing you will notice is I have the clips pretty well lined up. Now they're not perfect. You can see one clip looks warmer than the other. Um, you know, the garage isn't in the exact same spot, but that's okay because the shake transition is gonna cover this. So the first thing you wanna do is highlight both clips and create a compound clip. Now to make your life a bit easier, leave the playhead in the middle of both clips. Once you've, create, once you've created a compound clip, head over to your color tab. Now search camera shake or shake. Grab this effect and place it onto your node. Now we know we're at the center of both clips because of where we left our playhead. So you can go ahead and create a keyframe on the motion scale. At this point, is where you wanna apply the most shake. So drag the motion scale to two. Then what you'll need to do is scroll through your clip and find where you're happy for the transition to finish or the effect to finish. So I'm gonna say about there and drag this or the motion scale to zero. Then what you will need to do is go to the start or where you would like the effect to start and also drag motion scale to zero. You should have something that looks sort of like this. Not that impressive, but we're getting there. Cool. The next thing you want to do, um, this is sort of up to you, um, what your preference is. I like to drag the tilt all the way up and the rotation all the way up. And now you should start to have something what looks like this. It's a pretty aggressive shake around, but it does look quite impressive. Now it's not perfect, but we are getting there. As you can see, as it shakes, you'll get these black borders. Now if that's something you like, you can leave it. If it's not something you like, you can head over here to the border type and change it over. Now I generally choose between replicate and reflect depending on what I prefer, or what looks best. Oof, now it's starting to look how we want. Cool, moving on to the second clip. We're back into the edit tab and onto the second example, the agent walking inside the house. Now with this shake transition, what really sells it is that speed ramp prior to the shake transition. So I have it starting at the regular tempo and speeding right up. And then there's a hard cut and the clip goes back to the regular speed. Now these are two entirely separate clips shot in two different parts of the house. But it's the transition I use from the exterior of the property to the interior of the property. The only thing what is important is you plan to shoot so you can make sure the agent is the approximate same size in both clips. 
If they're not, you can always use the scale tool in DaVinci to scale it, your clip up or down so they match up as close as possible. So mine isn't perfect, but they're very close, as you can see here. Another important thing is to get their step stride pretty similar to from the first clip to the second clip. So as you can see, his leg is out. I'm not sure if it's the same leg, but one of his legs is out, which does sell it a little bit more. All right, now down to the color tab. Same goes. So we've already searched shake. So we just want to apply that to the node. And at the start of the clip is where we want to apply our most shake effect. So up to the motion scale, drag it to two and hit the keyframe. Then what we want to do is find that sweet spot of where we want the effect to finish. Now I find if you stop it too sudden or too close to where it started, there's not much effect or it stops very abruptly. And if you take it the whole way to the end of the clip, there's just too much going on. So I find around the middle is a good spot. Now, considering the duration of this clip, I think where I've got it is about right. Now, what we want to do is up to motion scale and bring that right down to zero. At the moment, it's not looking that impressive. All right, so what we want to do, bring the bring it back to the start. So what we want to do now with this, with this transition, I actually didn't play with the pan or the tilt. I just bore the rotation the whole way up to two, or sorry, the whole way up to one. And we'll try that again. Now looking at it, the clip on its own, it doesn't look that impressive. But if we come back to the timeline and view both clips together, it looks pretty cool. I hope that helps guys. I had so many people reach out to me and ask how to do that within DaVinci. I know it seems simple. It's only a couple sliders, a couple keyframes and one effect, but it does add so much value to your videos. Hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next video.